Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another shorty fountain pen video. And today's shorty is going to be very short indeed. Today I'd like to show you how to use the Majon wrench on the Majon P136 piston filler. So let's get started. First you'll need the Majon wrench. You can get this wrench on Etsy or AliExpress for around $13. And of course you'll need the Madge on P136 piston filler, which you can get on AliExpress or Etsy for around $36. First, let's uncap the pen. You may notice here that I've already replaced the nib on this pen with a Kaigaloo uh, long blade nib, which you can also get on AliExpress or you know the drill. And to remove the nib unit, uh, use the small end of the wrench to insert these pins into the slots on the nib collar. Once you've done that, keep pressing on the wrench and turn the body of the pen. And you're going to turn it in a clockwise motion and that will loosen the nib collar. It also keeps the wrench stable so that you don't chew up those soft plastic uh, slots on the nib unit. Then when you get it partially out like that, you can withdraw it from the barrel and there's your nib unit. You see there's two silicone O-rings right here. Uh, inspect those for damage, replace if necessary. Then for the piston, you're going to open the piston all the way up. And you're going to take the large end of the wrench and put those pins inside the matching slots. There's a slot there on both sides. And a slot there. Once you've got those pins engaged, hold on to the wrench and turn the piston down on top of the wrench so it holds it. Then you're going to grab the wrench and turn the body of the pen. And again, you're going to do it clockwise. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Some pistons are the reverse thread. This is a normal thread. And once that's out of there, you can withdraw the piston unit. Now I recommend that you keep the piston unit attached to the wrench like this, and be careful that you don't lose this little metal ring right here. Leave it on the assembly, and you can clean that piston off of any ink, rinse it out, whatever, but leave it attached like that. You can further disassemble this uh, piston right here, but um, I would recommend against that because it's a pain in the ass to get it back together again And there's no need to take it further apart than this then you have the barrel Completely by itself and you can run water through that to clear it out dry it with a q-tip And then you want to add some silicone grease part of your maintenance to the Piston ring itself the ring is on the end of this little cup on the p136 so I'm going to put a little dab of grease right there and run it around. And you can also add a drop of grease to those threads. That just helps the whole thing slide a little bit better. Put that ring back where it belongs right there. And you can slide that piston back into the barrel. And you can turn the barrel counterclockwise and then hand tight. Do not over tighten this piston as you can crack that barrel without even going through the gift shop. Oh my God. Then you can release that piston, which will let the wrench out and you can move the piston up and down a few times to spread out that grease. You can further disassemble the nib unit as well by pulling the nib and feed out of that collar. And the best way to do that is to put it back into the section of the pen and then you can use the pen for leverage. We're going to use the small end of the wrench and turn the body of the pen again just to give it hand tight. Do not over tighten. That'll give us some leverage to pull this nib. Grab a little rubber band, put it around the shoulders of the nib and then hold on to the barrel and onto the nib and press your knuckles together just like that and there are your nib and feed for further cleaning or replacement to put it back together again 
place the nib on the feed. The feed on the P136 has a little stopper ledge on it right back here. So you can slide that nib all the way down till it touches that. Hold on to the top and bottom of the feed and the nib. Insert back into the barrel and give it a good push. And you've reassembled your Majon P136. And there you have it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye. I made this.